Welcome to the show. I am your host, HC, and today we have some special guests coming on to the show for the live draw. And here they come. Sammy Sosa, Queen B, and Karen. It's the cast of Pacific Beach Street, guys. Are we feeling lucky tonight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Corinne, take the first ball. <laughs> I've won a trip to Antic Day! Oh. I'm a t shirt! Oh. My turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. My turn. Oh, look at it! I've got a lesson with my keto master! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Hey, oh, Henry, your dreams come true. You're making pizza in a real pizza yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Looks like we're all winners, but can Sam's luck hold out? We sit and wait. I get to play with one million dollars! Oh! It's the jackpot! Oh my gosh, what a winning combination! Mamma mia, this is making me all so hungry! Oh my god! Buongiorno, come sta? E Polito's Pizzeria. In here, a New Yorker's gonna teach this New Zealand Bon Samoan how to make Italian pizzas. I know, it's crazy! I'm Samoan, but I look Italian. Crazy, I tell you, it's crazy. I can't believe it. I'm crazy. I'll tell you all this is Chicolina Rose. Chicolina, I have to ask, what is a Yankee doing making Italian pizzas here in Aotearoa, New Zealand? Since I was 13, I've been making pizzas, New York style, and um, just thought I'd come and show New Zealand what New York style was all about. All right. So. The pizzas that you make, are they more Yankee, Kiwi, or the Italian, or is it a mixture of all three? Pretty much straight up New York Italian. Big, thin, chewy, yummy, yummy, yummy. See, uh, I would consider myself a, a Hawaiian pizza if I was a pizza. What type of pizza would you be? The Godfather. <laughs> Maybe you can show me how to make good pizza. Okay, what you want to do, Henry, is hands on, all about the hands. You're molding the pizza with your forefinger and um, your bottom edge of your hand right, right here. Down and in, down and in. This is where we're going to start extending the dough. I'm going to go out, out, out. You're gonna take your pizza, one hand, back, forth, back, forth, rotating your dough onto the cup of your hand. Then you're gonna take the pizza on your hands like this. Yeah. Yep. Okay, got that? Yep. And then we're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch. Then wing it up. The size matters when it comes to pizzas, doesn't it? Always. The bigger, the better. Now we'll start dressing our pizza. Okay. First, you're gonna put down the sauce. What's in this? Fresh tomatoes, garlic, oregano, all your good basic Italian ingredients. So you want to be thick with the cheese on the edge. It has to be pure mozzarella. No blends, no cheddar, no coldy. Grab your um, American streaky bacon. And you just want to balance it out. Now we want to go on to the pineapple. Do the same exact thing, Henry. Is it all about what you put on? Balance is the key factor in a pizza, and less is best, actually. Uh, you want to get the flavor of every single thing. Give it a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit of oregano. This is a one shot only. Put it in the oven and just give it a little shake and pull away. Yay! Yay! Excellent! Bon voyage! The pizzas we've got in the oven, we've got the my 14 inch and then we've got your 18 inch. What's the biggest pizza you've ever made? 24 inches. Damn. We make in New York for slices, which is about um, this big. 
There we go. Excellent. Hey, Chickalina, thank you so much for showing me yeah. how to make pizza. Um, I'm supposed to have my friends over there help me eat it, but <laughs> I really don't want to. <laughs> I wouldn't either if I made a pizza that great. Cool. Come on, Pete, come on, Pete, you can do it. But I did some for me to make me feel proud. Oh come on, Pete, you can do it. Come on. No, put us one more time around the block. Oh. Do you want a part of a million dollars? No, Do you? Ten times around the block now. Oh my god. I'm training hard. I want to do well in the keto for myself, for my family. And frankly, I want some of Sam's million dollars. Training's hard, B. And right here's where you start paying in sweat. Now get to your keto lesson now. Okay, I can do it. Make me feel prouder. Sports. Watching some of the throws and locks in Aikido, it's hard to believe it's a non-violent art. Here at Aikido Auckland, I'm uncovering the truth behind this martial art. Meet Alan Roberts Sensei and his student Alicia. How are you guys today? Good. Can you tell us what exactly is Aikido? Aikido is an approach to um, dealing with conflict where uh, the founder of Aikido did something kind of unusual in amongst martial arts because he came to the conclusion that a really effective um, principle for dealing with conflict was non resistance. And uh, that non resistance is neither running away from the situation, nor uh, struggling with it, but finding a way to participate in what's going on and lead things to a different conclusion. So is it possible to deal with conflict in a non-resistant way? I'm really loving these threads. <laughs> Can you tell me about the whole attire? Basically, the, the, this kind of outfit is sort of um, late 19th century Japanese t-shirt and track pants. <laughs> And so that's what people turned up to train in, and they'd often um, hike up the, the hakama out of the way so that they could have their legs free. Can you guys give me an example of how non-resistance works? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say there's somebody over there and they want to do something to me. An approach to this might be to go, oh no, she's going to do, you know, she's going to do this thing and I've got to stop her doing it. One of the problems with this is when you stop somebody doing something one way, they know they've been stopped, and so it gives them an option to do something else, you know, and, and you know, I kind of lose this advantage. Yeah. Another thing might be just to run, and this is actually not bad, but sometimes the problem you have is there's no... I'd run. <laughs> yeah, and, and running is, is uh, you know, for both of us is a great, uh, a great defence if I can run faster than Alicia. But another possibility might be to say, well, she wants to stab me, and I'm going to move so that she can keep stabbing me. In fact, I'm, I've kind of moved from stopping her to helping her stab me. So I go, oh, Alicia wants to stab me. That's good, stab me. I'm just not going to be there for her to stab. And then you carry that right through. So we can take that stab and continue that to bring it on the All right, can you manage this? Yep, I'll so first, try. It's just to get out of the way. Ah, is it? <laughs> I can't. See, so the, the, the immediately, you know, and this is something you learn about yourself immediately, you go, oh, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I want to get hold of this. Yeah. So don't worry about that. She wants that, and you go, well, that's fine. I'll just move my body. Better. Sorry. That's good. <laughs> turn, good, and then turn, just roll the thing. to Alicia and Master Alan. Best way to understand the keto is to experience it. Oh, this doesn't hurt. Oh, come on, Henry. Oh, get in there. Now, Sam, my Aikido lesson, that's what I call a productive training session. Well, if you're going to want some of my millions, B, you're going to have to do it my way. Drop to the floor and give me 20 setups now! How bad do you want it, B? One million dollars! <laughs> 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 